Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how to use pure NumPy and SciPy to build a multivariate normal sampler. So for this, uh, what I'm going to import is NumPy, is NP, and I'm also going to import the SciPy linear algebra library uh, because I'll need the Cholesky decomposition from that. So if I define a function, which will be a multivariate normal sampler, I'll have uh, let's say three inputs, the mean, the covariance, and the number of samples to generate, then uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, if you've seen some of my other videos, you might have noticed I talk about Cholesky decompositions and how that can improve numerical stability. You can also use it to draw samples from a multivariate normal. So what you're going to do is compute the uh, Cholesky decomposition of the covariance matrix. And then from here, you actually need to generate some uh, white Gaussian noise. So for that, you'll do np.random.normal. And then the size will be n samples by the shape of the covariance matrix, or rather the first dimension of the covariance matrix. And then from here, you can just return z.l plus the mean vector. And this will return uh, random samples that are distributed uh, from a multivariate normal distribution with the correct mean and the specified covariance matrix. Maybe I'll make this an optional parameter, n samples equals 1. All right, so now if I actually want to draw samples, let's say I create a, uh, a mean vector, mean equals np dot array, and we'll say it has a mean vector of 1, and then minus 5, and then the covariance matrix will be np.array, and then we'll have, let's say, a variance of 1, covariance 0.3, not a covariance 0.3, and then a variance of 2. And then we'll say x equals multivariate normal sampler, with a given mean, a given covariance, and then n samples, let's say it equals 1,000. So if I run this, python-i main.py, and I do x.mean axis equals 0, I get 1 and minus 5, as desired, approximately. And then if I do np.cov x.transpose, I get 1 around 0.3 and around 2, which is uh, pretty much exactly what I wanted. So. Um, from here, we might try to compare this against the, um, uh, the built-in NumPy sampling routine for, for a multivariate normal, and that's np.random.multivariate normal. Um, to do that, I, I might try a pretty large normal distribution. So let me, uh, let me scrap some of this here. And if I do x equals np.random.normal, and then I'll do um, size equals, let's say, 500 comma 1. And then if I do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to import another function uh, from scipy. Uh, scipy.spatial.distance import cdist. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of what I know from um, Gaussian processes to create a covariance matrix. So let's call that k equals um, np.exp minus uh, dist square. Well, I'll just do c dist x comma x comma square Euclidean. So what this is going to do is compute the squared Euclidean distance from every row in x to every other row in x. And uh, maybe I'll do plus 1e minus 6 for some numerical stability. np dot i, x dot shape 0. And then if I run this, this is going to give me a covariance matrix k, which is quite large. Well, kind of large, 500 by 500. So now, if I want to uh, say the mean will just be a zero vector, np dot zeros, um, x dot shape zero comma. Then we have two options. 
we can try to sample using a multivariate using our multivariate normal sampling function or we can use the built-in numpy function so let's see what happens uh, when we use the the built-in numpy function I'm going to import time for this just to do a, a kind of timing so maybe I'll do time dot sleep one and then I'll do start equals time dot time start time and then I'll do samples equals np dot random dot multi multivariate normal and then I'll do mean k and then the size will be say we want 10,000 samples and then if I have the end time uh, print time elapsed format time dot time minus start time and how about I run this just to see what it does 0.77 okay and then maybe what I'll do is almost the exact same thing except instead of calling the multivariate normal sampling function I'll call the multivariate normal sampler and I'll have to drop the size keyword and just put in 10,000 and let's see what happens you can see that it's uh, it is indeed faster which is pretty interesting let's try it again So there you go, guys. Uh, that's how you might consider building a multivariate normal uh, sampling function, um, at least in some very simple timing tests. Uh, it, it, it outperforms the built-in NumPy sampler. Uh, that may not always be true. Um, in fact, let's see, let's see how this might scale. Let's try it 1,000. Run that. So maybe it, maybe it does scale, maybe it doesn't. Here it is uh, almost uh, a factor of, of two faster. Um, but anyway, I guess the real lesson here is that you can implement your own multivariate normal sampler. Um, you can take advantage of Cholesky decompositions um, to uh, kind of roll your own. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.